That's right, Mark and Michelle. And I was just told by the CHP that some rocks continue to fall on parts of Malibu Canyon Road, and it is just too dangerous to let traffic through. This is what's left of a vehicle that was traveling on Malibu Canyon Road in the rain Wednesday night when a boulder from a rock slide slammed into its side. The force so strong you can see the inside of the passenger door. The roof smashed in, glass everywhere. The driver was transported to a local hospital with minor injuries. Another slide came out right in front of me, um, north of the tunnel in that general area um, from last night, and a couple cars hit it, blew their tires. So called my guy back and asked to see how bad that accident was. He said pretty bad. Um, fire trucks drove off with the driver, so at that point is when I decided to close Malibu Canyon. Three straight days of rain brought down rocks on Malibu Canyon in multiple spots, stranding some drivers. Ralph Maldonado with LA County Public Works says this was the boulder which hit that vehicle, which he thinks weighs two or three tons. Earlier, this was the scene on Harvester Road near Bush Drive in the Malibu Park neighborhood. The pipe that goes under Harvester was jammed with rocks, and all that water and mud started to spill onto the street. They were here all last night. You know, lights were going. I mean, it, it didn't really bother me. My wife is like, you know, I feel safe when they're out here. Scott Floor has lived here for 21 years. His house survived the fire, and he hopes it can make it through this wet winter for the Woolsey Fire burn area. The first time it rained, I had like a foot of mud right in my, you know, like front front yard. So I put the sandbags up. I just come out here like every once in a while, just to look at the water and see that it's moving that way and not this way, and I'm happy. And schools in Malibu will be closed tomorrow for the third day in a row. If you take Malibu Canyon Road to work, best to make other plans. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.